Yeah, so this is going to be one of those <coughs> pre-videos, I guess, until later. Because I just ate, I'm just like resting and listening to uh, this style, if you haven't heard it, it's called ASMR. I found it about a year ago, I had no, because they showed it on uh, some program on Swedish television. I never heard about it in my life. First, I thought it was some sort of a joke. <laughs> but then I started listening to it. And, um, well, when you, like, are tired and go to sleep... I mean, I can't listen to Metallica and Rage Against the Machine 24 hours a day. <laughs> also, you have Metaverse music. That's the one of the better. But I can do better music than that. But since my computer broke, you know, I haven't done it, so... But I can do much, much, much more deeper stuff than that. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. And um, if you are into as ASMR, this girl is pretty good. She is called, if I can say names, I think I can tell that. She is called uh, Gentle. Gentle. Men's spa, no, but that's not her name. What's the name of the video? Well, uh, anyway, the best one of them all, if you thought you didn't know, according to my opinion, and according to her as well, which is one of the most famous she has. 3.6 million subscribers. So then you understand that the stuff that I talk about is not that important. She's called Gentle Whispering ASMR. Okay, there you go. But she mentioned a few things. First of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. We took to Smurfs last night. Nothing happened. But we sat there, like, what, the, what is this? And then I took, uh, when they left, took like double. Maybe it was there. Maybe because it just exploded into some weird shit that I never experienced. Uh, and it's not uh, a good feeling, so I don't understand why they do that. Why people want that. It's... Uh, well, everybody's different, but that's not... It's more poison to me than it's uh, drugs, you know. So eventually I just took like a lot of sleeping pills and just slept it away. Wake up at seven o'clock at night and then I was like, you know, trying to wake up. You don't mess around with that shit. I'm gonna study that, what it is. I, th I guess it's from CIA, right? From the 60s. They come up with some chemicals. Because it looks completely harmless. When it, when it kicks in. You never felt anything like it. If you haven't tried it. Well. I'm not going to recommend you to try it. But. Maybe one time. So you understand. Because you're not going to die from it. Just. Um, 
when it's over, when it's out of your system, it's gone, you know? It's not like a hangover, like, uh, uh, alcohol or st stimulants or like that. It's completely different. It's very, very strange. You speak like in slow motion, you know? It's the strangest thing. And it just grew and grew and grew. And I'm not, I guess that took, it was like a big smurf, like a big, big smurf, 12 pieces. And I guess the shit was in the fucking last piece that I took. Uh, so it was just exploding and um, <sighs> this is not to joke around with trust me be I, I don't know how dangerous it is if you can die from it I don't know I don't think so I don't have, haven't heard about it I'm surely haven't Plus I take all the other stuff at the same time. So if I'm alive, you should be alive as well. But if you're older and I don't know, you know, you know, I have a good physique, so I don't know, but I don't know enough about it, you know. I just took it uh, 20 years ago in Los Angeles and I felt very good. But this is like being bitten by a cobra. Schmook. And you like... Uh, and... Um, it wouldn't surprise me if, I'm, I, if I am correct. If there is some animal poison in that, um, in that, what do you call it, uh, chemicals, because how, how could they make something that strong? We talked about this before, but I never get an answer, so why not use it again? And uh, yeah, it's out, but because of that, it took so much fucking benzo. So it's gonna take me two more. I woke up at seven, I was ten, so maybe at midnight again. But I want to comment it, the, the, this video because it was pretty interesting. I know what a gentleman you are, she says, and um, yeah, and she says like you work all day to struggle and struggle and struggle. Yeah, so why do you do that? Why do you comply with it? I already told you where the money goes. Right? So, how many times do I have to repeat myself? You know exactly where the money goes. So why do you do it? And what is a gentleman? What is the definition of that? It's an uh, ignorant uh, retard that believes in Batman. Is that a gentleman? We others, thinkers, truthers, we're the scum of the earth, right? Isn't that so? Drug addicts, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's why I always say to them, well, if you don't believe me, 
go into these channels, you know, don't, they don't take anything, you know, so it has nothing to do with that, nothing. Do you think I sit and study 10 hours a day, drunk? You really think so? Well, that's what they think, because people are fucking retards. Don't they understand that's my problem? Nobody in this world, as I know, had the same life energy before this, not the, only this, but before, let's say, the last... Well, I can't say when I started, say around when I was around, uh, I don't know, 25, maybe 30. Um, but now it's just, it's just, I don't know anymore, to be honest with you. Uh, You know what this Bruce Springsteen song said? You know, Ghost of Tom Joad. What does it say? The highway is coming alive. Nobody fools, nobody as to where it goes. I'm sitting here in the campfire light, wasting, waiting on the ghost of Tom Joad. That's where we are, you know. And nobody seems to care about it because they don't understand it. That's the problem. They don't understand it. That's the, the scary part. That's the really scary part. And these are adults. These are not kids. You understand me? I mean, and she talks about, I think, how do you protect us and everything like that? You know, you know, this is like, you know, acting. And, but I'm just using it as a symbol, you know. Well, you know, I like her uh, ASMR videos and everything like that. But uh, as I told you, they like, they don't understand what the law enforcement is about, you know. They think they're there to protect them, you know. I really believe that. And they believe that schools teach them truth. And they believe that tax goes to uh, good things in society. I didn't believe that we should live in apartments like this. You know, they don't understand that we should be out in the air, in the open, you know. They don't understand that because they don't think about it, you know. So, well, there was just a warm-up. This is coming more later tonight. I'll see you in the next one, all right.